Hey, before this video starts, I just want to mention, if you want to commission me for a video posted here on YouTube, come over to when I stream either here on YouTube or on Twitch at Retro Mario Twitch. But, let me not take up your time, enjoy the video. Ben, this is my only lunch hour, and no, I am not going to add nitro to your mo- Oh. It's you. Is there something you need from me? Like I said, it's my only lunch hour, and I like to eat alone. Look, kid, I've told you before, hell, I've chased you down because of it. Your kind event was supposed to happen, and you stopped it from happening. I did what I had to do. There's no changing that. You cannot change my mind this time. I let you go with me to fix your Canada vent, and you tried to stop me. But I fixed it the way I only know how I could. There's no reason for you to be here anymore. Get out of my office. Look, I know how much your uncle meant to you. Trust me, I've been through this all sorts of times. A lot of these things are very hard for a newer Spider-Man and Spider-People to go through. I know you're hurting. I know you're sad. I understand. But clearly, you don't understand. You don't understand the severity of breaking Canada events truly is. I could not let that happen a second time. So I did what I had to. And now that your Canada event is actually canon, you can live freely as a Spider-Man. I did what I had to. You clearly don't understand that because you're new to all of this, to everything. Without your Canada event, you would not exist. How many times do I have to tell this to you? You're scared and you're afraid. I understand. I was too when I first became a Spider-Man. I didn't understand anything of what was going on, why these people were after me, and why I was different from everyone else. But then I grew up. And then I understand everything completely. About how losing a family member is very saddening, but also Something we all have to go through. Like I said, I didn't like what I had to do, but it was the only way to fix it. I apologize for doing what I had to do. But without me doing that, you would not exist, nor even your universe would even exist at all.
again. I'm sorry. Yes. That's exactly what you're going to do. Do I have to call back up to come get you again? Do I have to call Ben? Scarlet Spider? Do I have to get anyone else to keep you from doing any other type of harm to the web? Yes, you are. You're doing a lot of more damage to the web than you think you are doing. And arguing with me right now is not going to solve any of it. You have to listen to me. You have to. Otherwise, your universe is not going to be there. <sighs> Look. I know how important your uncle was to you. Trust me, I've been through all sorts of types of situations the same way that your uncle has died as well. I've dealt with every single new recruit telling me that their uncle shouldn't have died. When in reality, it was their canon event. And they cannot do a single thing about it, otherwise their web would discontinue. Shatter. Completely be erased. It's either one death or millions. That is the decision you have to make as a Spider-Man. If you clearly can't understand that, I'll be taking that bracelet back. That's what I thought. Now, you have a mission that I'm giving you. I don't want to hear you talk. So stop talking for a minute, okay? You have a mission to collect an anomaly for me. You see, there's a universe out there with the Earth. It's called Earth 42. There's an anomaly there that you have to collect for me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> he pronounces himself as the Prowler. But he's not what he thinks he is. You see, this Prowler is a copy of the Spider-Man you know as Miles Morales. A Miles Morales who went more on the darker side when their uncle died. Became a villain of some sort. This is incorrect. That's why I'm sending you and a task force to capture this anomaly, bring them back here, and erase them. And make sure that cadet event never happens. And I know it's confusing. Let me explain. We have to make sure that this anomaly gets a race. Therefore, that universe depletes and then reforms itself. Afterwards, that universe's Miles Morales will become Spider-Man. Because of the remaking of the universe itself. Does that make sense to you, or do I have to re-explain it? Alright then. As for you... You're going with Scarlet Spider... And a few others. Gwen... And... I haven't thought of the third person as of yet, but 
it's most possibly going to be a more mature Spider-Man. Possibly noir. But that is your task, team. And you will treat them with respect. Not like what you've been doing with me right now. All right. You're dismissed. Before you go, though, I have one more thing to say to you. You ever try to disrespect me and or try to argue with the points that are true that I am speaking, I will make sure that you will never be a Spider-Man in any universe personally now get out of my office <sighs> damn it my food's cold now uh, put the mare.